Hey everyone, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I'm here today to take you through what you need for the Saxon Math 6-5 curriculum. We know what sometimes when you're getting started, there's all these different textbooks, we don't know which ones we need, so I'm gonna show you which ones you need, how the lessons are laid out, and how they all work together. Ready? Let's go. Well, let's first start with the name, Saxon 6-5. People ask me all the time, well, what's the deal with the name? <laughs> okay, well, you want to look at the second number. The 5 tells you the grade level. So this is a 5th grade level textbook. Now, why is there a 6? Well, we know sometimes 6th graders also do this textbook. Maybe they're struggling a little bit, or that's just when they're handling it in their curriculum. So we want 6th graders to feel included and not feel like they're doing work that's behind. So it is the 6th five textbook. Now this one is the third edition. It's printed in 2005 and the books are soft cover, which I love. <laughs> All right, so what books do we need? Here's the first one. It is the student textbook. There you go. And we have the solutions manual. Okay, this is the green and gold series. And the third one is the test and worksheets book. All right, I'm going to take you through each of these show you what's in them, and we're going to start with the student textbook. Here's the first thing you need to know about the student textbook, that it's the main textbook. There isn't a facilitator's guide or a teacher's guide. Both student and teacher can work out of this book, which makes things nice. Okay? It has 120 lessons and 12 investigations. Investigations are just more hands-on lessons. I kind of liken them to science labs. They're just math labs. Okay, and um, each lesson is broken down into four sections. All right, they are the warm up, the new concept, the lesson practice, and the mix practice. Woo! All right, let's go through all four of those sections and lay it all out for you. Okay, the warm up. Now, it's the first part of the student textbook. You'll see it's usually a box at the top of the page, and it has three parts to it. First part is the facts practice. Now, the worksheets for the fact practice are actually in that test and worksheets book, and it's a page where your students can write directly on it, and it's for them to practice their math facts. They're generally timed activities, and these are super important because they're the drills of how your students learn their math facts. All right, now, the second part of that warm-up is called the mental math. Those are right in the student textbook, and students can do it in their head but they might need to write their answers down. So there is a sheet in the student uh, test and worksheets book where they can actually just go ahead and write their information there. All right, the third part of the warm up is called the uh, problem solving question. And it's generally one question where the student, you know, is doing less computation and more strategic thinking about how they would tackle something in math. All right, so those three sections are the warm-up. The next part is called the new concept. This is where we teach the math and you've got a few options in how you can do it. So you could teach your student yourself, you could have the student take the textbook, read it, and teach themselves, or you could use me. Again, I'm Nicole the Math Lady and I teach every lesson in this textbook in an on-demand video, which means I pre-recorded it. It's not live, <laughs> but I hear that people feel like I'm standing in their house. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and teach that material. Generally takes around seven to 10 minutes, but I teach it exactly as it is in the book so your student can follow along. After the new concept, you'll find the lesson practice. These are just a handful of problems that are on the lesson that they just learned to make sure they got it. Okay, so now there's not enough room in this book for the students to work out their problems. So I just tell students, keep a spiral notebook right next to you as you're working, write your answers in that so you always have them. Okay, now I want to tell you something else about the lesson practice. I actually have an optional video on the Nicole the Math Lady platform where I walk through some extra lesson practice problems. I have found that some students just need a little bit more hand-holding before they're ready just to do the problems on their own. As I said, it's optional. So some students do it, some students don't. Some use it for extra practice during the summertime. So if you want to do that, it's optional. The last part is called the mixed practice. This is what Saxon Math is known for. It's 30 
mixed problems of a spiral review. What does that mean? Well, it means that some of those practice problems are going to be from today. Some are going to be from yesterday. Some are going to be from last week. We're constantly spiraling back to problems or topics that they learned to give them extra practice. Why? Well, we know in math things build upon each other, so we don't want them to forget, so we keep bringing it back and touching upon it because they're going to need it to move forward. All right, let me tell you something special about this part of the book. For each problem, there is a number underneath the problem number, and it's in parentheses. This number in parentheses tells you which lesson the problem originally came from. So that way, if your student's having an issue or having a problem, you could always go back for, to that lesson as a reference to see what it was, okay? And this leads me to tell you a little bit about our online grading platform at Nicole the Math Lady. So online grading is where students get to put their answers that they came up with into our online grading system and have it automatically graded. So here's what's cool about that. Our students get immediate feedback. Because I know it's hard sometimes to like stay up with all the grading in math and there's just so many practice problems to grade. So we grade it for you automatically. Student gets immediate feedback. If they get it right, woo, we celebrate. If they get it incorrect, we give them a chance to retry the problem and we give them some tools. Particularly, remember that number I told you about in parentheses? We provide that over on the side. If they click on it, up pops open a window where they get to re-watch the video and try to correct the problem themselves, which is what we want students doing. We want them to learn how to correct their mistakes in math. Super important skill. So that's a little bit about how it's great for students, but it's great for you too, because you don't have to grade all those practice problems. But more importantly, you get to focus your time and attention on where your student needs you most, meaning the problems that they got incorrect. So that's a little bit about online grading. So that's the student textbook. Just a few more things in that student textbook. We've got, remember those investigations? They come every 10 lessons. You'll find one tucked at the end of that 10th lesson. We also have a glossary in the back of the book, which is pretty great. And then at the front of the book, you'll find a list of materials, a little bit about the Saxon math philosophy, and a letter from the author, Stephen Hake, who I've had the pleasure of meeting. And it's really great to hear him talk a little bit about how this curriculum was formed and why it's done the way that it's done. All right, let's talk about book number two. That would be the Solutions Manual. Now, the Solutions Manual is just that. It has the solutions to the practice problems. Very detailed ones for the mixed practice, more simple ones for the lesson practice, but they are in there, and this is how you know how to do a problem if you get stuck. And the third book, remember, is that Test and Worksheets. Well, let's cover the test parts first. About every five lessons, there'll be a test. And it's looking back at the concepts in those five lessons. So you'll find those in this book. And you'll also find the schedule of when you need to administer the test at the front of the test section in the book. Now, it also says worksheets. So you'll find your math drills worksheets there, a place to put your mental math answers. Sometimes the investigations have like an extra page or two you might need to reference. So all of those like little extra things you'll find in the test and worksheets book. And that's it. That's all I have for you on the Saxon Math 6-5 curriculum. Those are the textbooks you need, and that's what's in them. Okay, that's all I have for you today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Hope it made it a little easier for you to get started. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.